Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and today I brought uh, something very useful uh, for you, something very interesting as well. I made an XML music player. When I say XML, basically uh, what I'm trying to say out here is that I'm pulling the list of uh, the music or the songs from an ex external file, all the assets, uh, the music assets are actually stored in an audio uh, folder and through the XML file now the XML file has been written and designed in such a manner that it pulls up one by one all the different songs in my example I've used four songs it plays them it can even pause them it can take you to the next song when you wish it can take you to the previous song right it'll display the title of the song as well and uh, the person responsible for the song in fact let me first show you a published preview by hitting control and on the keyboard okay so guys um, up front we have four buttons the play the pause the next and the prev for the uh, for taking the playhead to the next song or the previous song but initially as you can see these two buttons are not working they get active or functional only once you play the uh, or you hit the play button right so uh, let me hit the play button first let me, okay guys as you saw uh, it says first track so which is actually the title of the song or the track underneath that it says unknown so basically the person the choreographer that is the person responsible for that music clip it says unknown right even i don't know and um, i can resume it again have a look pause it again play it again go to the next track let me uh, allow it to play the, the whole uh, clip third one and uh, from the fourth it goes back to the first one third second first second third fourth third second first pause play pause right so um, it has the play functionality the pause functionality it can take you to the next track or the previous track okay uh, if there is no user intervention the user does not um, interact with the swift then if one song finishes it finishes it'll automatically go to the uh, second song now how was this uh, mp3 player made possible i know it's not very aesthetic uh, that is because of my very uh, nature the person that i am not very aesthetic <laughs> that is something i'll leave up to you you can make your own buttons you can design it the way you want i'm just a developer who is good at coding but uh, you see i can't make things very aesthetic so that is something that i uh, the ball is in your court whatever you wish to do you can do that right let me show you the assets now this is the folder which is containing everything okay this is the zipped file guys where i've zipped all the four assets and this uh, i'll be uh, giving it away to you all right uh, it'll be available uh, as a free download from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net the size out here is around 40 mb but don't worry uh, the um, file that is available for download will be much much smaller right don't let that scare you okay uh, so here at the top we have an audio folder okay which is 9.88 mb almost 10 mb let me open it up for you it has four uh, royalty free music clips okay uh, <coughs> make sure that you name them track one track two track three and track track four to match the names that we have used in the xml file now xml is something beautiful uh, it's very similar to the way you write html uh, but you can use your own tags 
and XML is compatible with Flash and ActionScript 3 as we have already seen, right? So uh, this is the XML file, guys. This is uh, the FLA file that I'm using in Flash CS6. And this is the uh, published Swift file. The play, the pause, the play, <coughs> the pause. I forgot to tell you, once you are in the pause mode, guys, you cannot use the next in the prep button. But obviously, you wouldn't need them. Cool. So uh, let me open up this uh, playlist.xml document with uh, Dreamweaver CS6. Let me get the file in. Right. Guys, have a look out here. Uh, this, the first line, basically talks about the version of the XML okay then you have a playlist opening tag and you have a playlist closing tag as i said these are custom tags guys xml allows you to build custom tags but if you really don't know xml if xml is actually scaring you so just uh, copy the same code uh, that uh, i have put up out here okay then i have used the song uh, tag okay which I have uh, closed uh, it doesn't have a closing uh, strictly speaking but I've closed it in this manner okay which has a URL attribute a title attribute and the artist attribute uh, where the title is first second third and fourth track the artists are unknown random singer super generic singer and XYZ okay uh, the URL is actually pointing to the song it's telling that uh, the songs are stored uh, in an audio folder uh, which is housing track one track two track three and track four right so it's a playlist of four songs guys tomorrow or later on if you're adding more songs you have to follow the same pattern you have to have the song tag okay uh, the url the title and the artist right so uh, Flash and Action Script 3 will automatically suck all the information from the XML and display the pictures, uh, sorry, the music uh, accordingly to you, right? So um, this is the way you'll be putting up your XML containing those uh, four songs. And if you wish to add or delete, you can obviously do that following the same pattern, guys, very important. And when I say following the same pattern, I mean that you should uh, give your tracks uh, names like uh, track 1, track 2, track 3, track 4, .mp3. .mp3 is important. This is one format that uh, you see uh, Flash and ActionScript 3 have no problem with. Cool. See guys, this is part 1. I'll not be going into the detail of what is uh, uh, there in the Actions panel. Right? which I'll be doing so in the next part. Um, let me just tell you that um, we have four buttons out here on the stage that are pulled up from the buttons library, which is available under Windows, uh, common libraries, buttons. Right? You can just explore this library and you can uh, pull out many other buttons if you wish. Or you can make your own buttons, guys. These are all buttons. Since these are buttons, you need, don't need to uh, make the... Uh, button mode true okay these are text fields guys title.txt which is a classic dynamic text field right uh, this is uh, another text field artist underscore txt and title underscore txt so the stage consists of uh, two text fields both are classic text and dynamic text dynamic because they change uh, as I said, with four buttons, that's all that is there on the stage, okay? And uh, then we have a, a lengthy bit of uh, action script. It took me four hours to work up the logic, um, clear some of my doubts, uh, put everything together. It took me four to four, four, four and four and a half hours, uh, half an hour of debugging to be absolutely sure that everything is working just fine, right? So, uh, guys, uh, 
I've used the sound class, I've used the um, URL loader class, um, I've used the sound channel class, I've used uh, booleans out here, okay, so it's a pretty lengthy script. Um, <coughs> so guys, uh, this tutorial has already run into 10 minutes, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wrap the tutorial out here okay only to join you in the next part and uh, maybe I'll, I'll need two more parts we'll need a second part and the third part as well so i'll give you a detailed information about the action script uh, but uh, for the moment i'm uh, terminating this tutorial right here uh, letting you know that you can download it from http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net what you can do is you can go into the audio folder replace my tracks with your own make sure you name them track one track two track three and track four and um, it will work yes if you uh, publish the swift file it will work and further if you go to the xml file change the titles the track numbers the titles right uh, this the name of the singer it'll work too it'll display the relevant text uh, in the uh, the text fields cool so guys uh, i hope to join you in part two that may or may not be the last part we'll see you have a good day guys bye bye peace